Okay, this is day two of the cold processed soap I made yesterday. This is the tea tree. This is the almond. Took them out of the oven. They had gone through their gel phase in the oven, which deactivates the lye. So if I wanted to, I could use the soap the way it is. So I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to get them out of the mold, and then I'm going to show you what they look like after that. I'll be back. It'll be two seconds for you guys. Okay, here they are out of the mold. Nice and formed. Now I get to cut them up. And I'll show you that process now. In two seconds. They'll be nice and cut up. See you in a bit. All right, this is my last process of it. I'm cutting up this little last bit of it so you can see what I'm cutting. I'm using a cheese cutter, <laughs> which makes nice, even slices. And I can make them all the same size. It takes a little practice, but it's not impossible. And that's it. We are done. This was the almond soap. These will darken up a little bit more. This is not the color that they will remain. They will darken up and harden up. Right now they're pretty soft. Let me show you the end piece. They're really soft. They're mushy. After a couple of days, they'll be as hot as a rock and they'll lather up really nice. I bet it smells so good. All right, guys. That's it. These made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 20. 1. Go figure. I need an extra one. My mold must have been bigger. All right. That's it, guys. I'll catch you up on the next one.